hello you are going to see subtraction so what are the topics you are going to cover in this video are subtraction of single digit number subtraction of two digit number without borrowing subtraction of two digit number with borrowing subtraction of three digit number at last i will give some practice worksheet first we will see subtraction of single digit number so first what is subtraction means subtraction means we are taking away the numbers so minus is the sign used for subtraction first we will see one example here they are given 8 minus 2 so we are going to uh, take away the two number from 8 so we should always keep in our mind that while subtracting uh, we should always subtract uh, smaller number from the bigger number it's not possible to subtract the bigger number from the smaller number first we need to clear in in that so we should always subtract smaller number from bigger number so here they given 8 minus 2 so here we are going to take the two number away from 8 so we need to keep 8 on our mind we need to Tell the number in the reverse order. That is before 8 is 7, 6. So 8 minus 2 is 6. So 8 minus 2 is 6. We will see another one example. Here they given 5 minus 4. So first we need to keep 5 on our mind. Next we need to tell in the reverse. So before 5 is 4, 3, 2, 1. So, answer will be 1. So, 5 minus 4 is 1. Next, we will see subtraction of two digit number without borrowing. Let us take one example. Here they given subtract 14 from 56. That means we need to take away the 14 from 56. First, we need to place this number in vertically. That is column method. So, for that we should write the place value first. So, here it is two digit. So, 0, 1, tens. So, we should always write the number from right side. That is from 1's value. So, first we need to write the number. What they have given is subtract 14 from 56. So, from 56 only we are going to take the 14. So, first we need to write the number 56. So, 6, 5. Next only 4, 1. So, now we are going to subtract. So, first we need to subtract the 1's place. Here they given 6 minus 4. So, first we need to keep 6 on our mind. Then before 6 is 5, 4, 3, 2. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. Next, we are going to take the tens value. That is 5 minus 1. So, we should keep 5 on our mind. So, before 5 is 4. So, answer will be 4. So, 56 minus 14 is 42. Now, let us take another one example. Here, they given subtract 31 from 95. So, first we need to write the place value. So, 1's tens. So, we are going to subtract 31 from 95. So, from 95 only we are going to take away the 31 numbers. So, first we need to write 95. For that, we need to write it vertically. That is column method. We should write the number from right side. That is from 1's value. So, 5. 9 then 1 3 now we are going to subtract first we will take one's place here they given 5 minus 1 so we should keep 5 on our mind so before 5 is 4 so 5 minus 1 is 4 next we are going to take the tens value here they given 9 minus 3 so we need to keep the 9 on our mind then we are going to Take away the three numbers from 9. So, we should tell before 9 is 8, 7, 6. So, 9 minus 3 is 6. So, 
95 minus 31 as 64. I hope you understand this concept. Next we will see subtraction of two digit number with borrowing. Here they given one example. Subtract 25 from 73. So we are going to subtract 25 from 73. So first we need to place in place value. So ones tens. First we need to write the numbers from right side. That is 3, 7. Next 5, 2. So now we are going to subtract. First we will take ones value. Here they given 3 minus 5. Is it possible whether we can take away 5 from 3? No, it's not possible. We, we should always remember we cannot take the higher number from the smallest number. So, for that we need to borrow the number from the nearest place value. That is tens value. So, we are going to borrow one number from tens value. So, the 3 will become what? If, uh, if it is 0 means it will become 10. 1 means it will become 11, 2 means 12, 3 means 13. Like this, the number will go on. Here we are having 3. So, this 3 will become what? 13. Because we are going to borrow one number from the nearest place values. That is from 7, we are borrowing 1. So, that the 3 will become 13. Then the, what? Then the 7 will become 6. Because we are giving one number to the nearest place values. So, now we are going to subtract 13 minus 5. So, we should keep 13 on our mind. So, before 13 is 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So, 13 minus 5 is 8. Next, we need to keep 6 on our mind. That is 10's value. So, we need to keep 6 on our mind. So, before 6 is 5, 4. So, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, 73 minus 25 is 48. Now, we will see another one example. Subtract 34 from 62. So, first we need to write the place value. Once, tens because it is two digit. So, we should write the numbers from one's place. So, we are writing. Now, we are going to subtract one's place. That is 2 minus 4. Again, is, is it is possible? No, it is not possible. We cannot take the bigger number from the smaller number. So, for that, we are going to borrow one number from the tens value, which is the nearest place value of 1. So, that time, what will become a 2? The 2 will become 12. Because we are getting one number from the tens. So, the 6 will become 5. So, now we should keep 12 on our mind. So, before 4, that is 11, 10, 9, 8. So, 12 minus 4 is 8. Next, we are going to subtract the tens value. We need to keep 5 on our mind. So, before 5 is 4, 3, 2. So, 5 minus 3 is 2. So, 62 minus 34 is 28. Now we will see how to subtract the three digit number. Let us take an example. Subtract 213 from 325. Here it is three digit. So what will be the place value? Ones, tens, hundred. Because it is three digit. Like what we are going to write is we are need to write the numbers from the ones values. That is 5, 3, 3. Next is 3, 1. Now we are going to subtract this numbers. First we are going to take the ones value. Here they are given 5 minus 3. So we are going to take away the 3 numbers from 5. So we should keep 5 on our mind. So before 5 is 4, 3, 2. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Next we are going to subtract the tens place. 2 minus 1. So we should keep 2 on our mind. So, before 2 is 1. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Next, we are going to subtract the hundredth place. It is 3 minus 2. So, we are going to keep 3 on our mind. So, before 3 is 2, 1. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. 
So the answer will be 112. Next we will see another one example. Subtract 544 from 721. So first we need to write the place value. One. Because it is three digit number, the, what will be the place value? Ones, tens, hundred. So need to write the numbers. Now, now we are going to subtract the ones place. One minus four. Again it is possible? No. We cannot subtract the higher number from the smaller number. For that, we are going to borrow one number from the nearest place value. So, nearest place value of 1 is 10. So, we are going to get one number from 10. So, then the 1 in 1's place will become 11. So, the 10's place 2 will become 1. So, now we need to keep 11 on our mind we are going to take away 4 from 11. So, before 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So, 11 minus 4 is 7. Next, we are going to subtract the tens value. 1 minus 4. Again, is it is possible? No. Again, it is not possible because we cannot take away the bigger number from the smaller number. So, we need to borrow a number from the nearest Tens value. The nearest tens value is 100. So, we are going to get one number from the hundreds place. So, this 1 will become 11. This 7 will become 6. Now, we are going to subtract the tens values. That is 11 minus 4. So, we should keep 11 on our mind. So, before 11 is 10, 9, 8, 7. So, 11 minus 4 is 7. Next, we need to Subtract the hundredth place. That is 6 minus 5. So, we need to keep 6 on our mind. So, before 6 is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, the answer will be 1. So, 721 minus 544 is 177. Next, we will see whether if the number ends with 0. How we are going to subtract so, first we need to place the place values. Write the numbers from right side. Here first we are going to subtract the 1's value. 0 minus 2. We should always remember any number we cannot take away from 0. It is impossible. So, we are going to borrow our numbers from the 10's place. So, the 0 will become 10. The 5 will become 4. So, we should keep 4 on our mind. So, before 10 is 9, 8. So, 10 minus 2 is 8. Next, we are going to subtract the tens place. First, we are going to keep 4 on our mind. So, before 4 is 3, 2, 1. So, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, the answer will be 18. So, 50 minus 32 is 18. Let us see another one example. 112 from 300. So, we are going to subtract 112 from 300. So, here it is 3 digit number. So, we are going to write the place value as 1, 10, 100 and we are writing the numbers from right side. Okay, first we need to subtract the 1's place. Here they are given 0 minus 2. Is it possible to subtract 0 minus 2? No, it's not possible. So, we are going to borrow a number from 10's place. Again, in 10's place, it is 0. Again, it is not possible to get the number from 0. So, we are moving to the 100th place to get the numbers. So, that 0 will become 10. So, from 3, we are going to give one number to 10's place. So, this 0 will become 10. This 3 will become 2. Then again from the 10's place, 10 we are going to give one number to the 1's place. So, this 10 is going to give one number to the 1's place. So, that, that 0 in the 10's place will become 10. The 10 in the 10's place will become 9. So, now we are going to subtract the 1's place. So, we should keep 10 on our mind. So, before 2 is 9, 8. So, so 10 minus 2 is 8. 
means we are going to subtract the tens place. We should keep 9 on our mind. So before 9 is 8. So 10 minus 1 is 8. Next we are going to subtract the hundredth place. 2 on our mind. So before 2 is 1. So answer will be 1. So when we subtract 300 and minus 112 we get 188. I hope you understand this concept. If you want more practice posting, you can go and visit in this uh, site. Please uh, subscribe and support our channel. Thanks for watching.